You know, there's some stupid things in life I've wanted for a long time. Oh, why do we need water and a big box? I'm really excited for a new toy for the RV. Like, I've wanted one of these for a long time, and finally we got one. So let's go to the RV, fire up the generator, sit there and pretend like we're doing something. You know, the girls are inside. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. So, magically, we have now appeared at the RV storage lot. We won't we won't talk about the RV storage lot because I know that some of you out there that have RVs and boats who pay for storage have a they have big emotions when I talk about this place. This RV storage lot is a uh, a benefit of my home in 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 uh, the village they call it. Not the villages. It's not the same thing as the village. Don't we don't live in the villages. The, the upside down pineapple jokes will fly. Uh, the villages are about three and a half hours north. Actually, really close to the Windy Acres campground we go to Releesburg. So I live in a different town in Palm Beach called a certain village. And it has uh, this RV storage lot, boat storage lot. And it has a dump station, 24-hour security, a power gate, full lighting, and a wash station outside for $64 a month. It's it's just a, a homeowner, property owner benefit for living in it. Like, this is freaking sweet. When we used to live down in Weston, a the best storage lot I could find for an RV was $375 a month. And it was like 80 miles or something away. It was stupid how far away from, from that house. Maybe not 80, 40. Anyway, it was far and it was really expensive. So uh, when we bought this house, they send you this like packet. Like, you know, you buy a home in the in this village. They, they send you this like package of benefits. And there's tons of concerts and stuff. And one of the things was RV storage, and it said $65 for 40 feet. And I was like, oh, like I bought this RV because of this spot. Anyway, not to go on all about that. What we have in this back seat is a convenience that normally is reserved for home. Uh, one of my favorite channels on YouTube, you know this before, is a guy named G Rathbun. I started my channel actually kind of off of watching him. And he has a, he full times for a while, but he also has a house and he does a lot of RV stuff. And I think it's great. He rides a Harley, goes to Sturgis, and has an RV. It's kind of my favorite stuff. And he showed a portable uh, washing machine, clo clothing washing machine. And I was like, wow, that's cool. But, you know, so far I don't need that. Uh, just going to rallies and stuff. I don't need that because I'm not on the road that long. He is. But another thing that's awesome that I've seen is a portable dishwasher. I've wanted one since I first saw one like two years ago. They're not insanely expensive. I'll put the price on the screen here of what this one is, but I think it's like 350, 399, something like that. But uh, a while back, this company reached out and said, would you like one? And I was like, yeah, I want one of these. <laughs> like wanted one forever. So it showed up a couple days ago. And oddly enough, the wife was like, <laughs> after I, I bring the box, I go, you know what this is? And I tell her, and she goes, you know that the dishes in the sink in the RV are actually not dirty. They're not covered in food, but they're not exactly clean. So I'm excited to do the dishes. I know it's weird, but we're going to go inside, set this up on the countertop and do dishes because that's what you came to this channel for. Going to rallies, pulling RVs, building choppers, customizing baggers, and doing dishes. It's what we do here on the Pro Monkey channel. All right, let's go inside. Okay, let me just stand here for a minute. hot and uh this box barely fits with the doorways and uh well i'm fat you know so anyway we're out so there's a bunch of motorcycles in here that's kind of awesome some of you had asked like where are the bikes at so cbo has been in here since daytona brown sugar chopper hey sweetheart and then the crossbones they're all three have been in storage in here while i work on the beautiful loser so these three in fear are the ones that are going to go to leesburg so i just kind of left them and needless to say, we got bikes to ride at home and too much to do, so I'm worried about it. But now, it's time to open the Nanova. So, all I did at home was open the flaps and then go, wait a minute, that's that dishwasher. So, uh, basically, I'm going to turn the camera off because I don't have enough hands or space or, hey, look, a fork leak um, to do this. So, let me open the box and I'll be back in a second. I can't believe the condition we left this place in. Like, we're normally better than that. But, hey, look, my beard coat. That's fun. So yeah, oh, Jesus. So yeah, I mean Daytona. We uh, oh, just made a bold spot. Um, 
didn't do as great a job cleaning this place up as I remember. So there's going to be some work to do for Leesburg, which is hilarious because Leesburg is by far the dirtiest rally we go to because it's in a pasture and just sugar sand blows in the sky and it's all that sort of stuff. So it, the sky and the air, so it gets filthy, but you know. Well, I found a place that it fits, but where you fill the water is not exactly the most convenient place. I've been. Wow. More cleaning, then I'll show you. No, it was fine. Yeah, so we've got a couple dirty cups, all it is in the, in the sink. And this guy fits, it's not even pushed all the way back, but this is the fill here. It's just a tail, there's no, you know what I'm saying, anyway. Um, so you have to like scoot it out, put water in it. It holds like, a, this needs Galloway. It holds like a liter of water at a time, but I don't think it uses all that. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of scoot it outward, fill it up, and I'm actually gonna take all the stuff out because what this does is you fill the tank here and then the dirty water hose comes out of it and you can either run it into the sink which is what i'll do for now or i mean there's no reason you couldn't do this outside seriously like set it on a table and run the dish outside if you want to uh if you were doing like a uh, uh maybe you were barbecuing at your rig or something set it on the table outside and as the dishes get dirty wash them before you bring them in this does a full like heated cycle you put the water in cold not hot uh this heats the water you put your regular dish soap in, which I think I brought that in. Yeah, it's in there. Um, and that's it. So pretty decent size. So let me take all the stuff out, like packing stuff and set it up. And then I'll put water in it and we'll get started. All right, so right off the bat, I can tell you that it also hooks up to the faucet. So I could just unscrew that cap and run it straight off of it. But I'm going to fill the tank. So, yeah, I'm, not gonna do, I'm just not going to bother with all that. So it's here if you can, if you want to do that. But that's what that is. And then this is your uh, dirty water hose. So... I've already taken the hardest part of this whole setup so far has been all the blue tape holding everything inside the whole thing. So in the water tank, I'm doing anything. So yeah, I'm just gonna hook up this hose and then I think I'm good to go pretty much. Load up the thing, throw some detergent in there and roll. Hook the drain hose up before you start putting water in it because the overflow for the tank is the outlet for the drain hose. I mean, I wouldn't what insurance companies call, didn't have what they would call a water loss, but it's a lot of water. You know, so do that, put the drain hose on. Goes on the back, rubber fitting, has a, a, a worm gear, you know, little clamp. She's clamped on now, so I run that hose into my sink. I've got my detergent, I'm just gonna load this thing up. You know, silverware and cups from all the bourbon and Cokes the night before, and then you can stack these. You put like cups there, and then you put like another layer up here with them sitting on there. I don't, I don't know if I'll need that today, but. It has a light too, which is very exciting. You know, it didn't come on that time. Why did it come on? Turn the blue light on, it was awesome. Anyway, yeah, so when you first open it, it lights up all blue inside. So let me load this and we'll do dishes. It's very exciting. My wife's gonna see this video and lose her mind because I'm so inefficient at loading stuff. Now, I would argue she puts too much in there, but what do I know? So, I mean, what we have here, we have, well, I mean, if your RV dishes don't consist of iron horse mugs and buffalo chip bourbon cups, what, I mean, what, what are you even doing with your life? That's what I want to know. Oh, and this little rack works for the uh, coffee cups. So, bing, bang, boom. That, is that in there? This one's kind of big. No, it's in there. All right. So let's fire it up and put my detergent. Isn't this exciting? This is riveting. And we're going to go on. Oh, blue light. Uh, strong start and I didn't read the directions so I have no idea if I did that right let me check them I had turned it off <laughs> so strong 89 is that how long yeah whatever and then dry do you like dry we don't want to dry really and then yeah we're just gonna go wash is it, is it gonna wash does it heat up first? <laughs> the light, I saw the light for fill water was on, so I went to go get water and I come back and it's running. So obviously I did it right. So now I'll just turn on the TV and watch TV for 88 minutes while this is running. Put the cap back on, so I'm taking that off. And seeing as how this rig has been left alone for a little bit, I'm gonna clean the sink out, that's gross. And then we'll be back when this is good to go. Oh, it's just so bad that it took, you know, 80 something minutes to run the so cycle. It's hole. You know, hate being here in my little tree house. <laughs> I'm going to come here to do dishes from now on. Just like, oh, babe, I got to go 
to the RV and uh, uh, run the dishwasher. Or riveting dishwasher footage. Huh? Huh? Tell me this isn't your favorite channel now. We film dishwashers. So, it drained down the sink. That went perfectly, although I still got to clean the sink. That's gross. Um, yeah, man. Just like at home. Got clean dishes. Now, the real test here. Yeah. That's the uh, drip tray for my coffee maker. And it looked like it had been used to, like, butcher multiple animals. So, that, that came out nice and clean. All right. So, we're done. So, yeah. This thing's pretty slick. Now this this shelf I didn't mention before, it worked for the wow, that's that's rather warm. That's that's hot as it's supposed to be. So that's actually a mark in the porcelain. Um this can be folded up like that. You know what I mean? You don't have to use this little shelf thing. It worked really well, but if you wanted more space, you could. The only thing I couldn't fit that I tried were my my grill tongs, and they are huge, so obviously that wasn't gonna work. So Alright, man. So now I gotta put away the dishes and uh we're done. So it's the next day because I recorded an end of that video while I was there at the RV and it's gone. No idea where it went, it's disappeared. So, hey, here I am in the garage once again. Anyway, so that dishwasher, I, I know it's hilarious to hear I'm talking about dishwashers, but when you're at a rally, I am freaking tired of doing the dishes all the time because when we're there, for some reason, it's my job alone. And anyway, so tired of doing it and that's gonna be a lot of fun. So people always ask, like, there's gotta be one thing. If there's one thing you, could, you would change if you could, what would it be? And that is, uh, and I don't know how you could change it, is the amount of water that it uses, right? So it does use like a 1.3 gallons of water to run a load. And if you're if you're uh, dry camping, you know, you're, you're boondocking, that's difficult. Now, my rig is a 100-gallon fresh water tank. And I typically fill it if I'm going to go, like, for example, Leesburg's coming up and I'm going to boondock for the weekend. I'll fill it. I'll actually haul 100 gallons up there because I don't have a spigot there where we go at Windy Eggers, I don't think. Anyway, but I, mine hauls fine. I have it in closed underbelly and all that stuff. So I'm going to haul 100 gallons. I'm not going to run out of fresh water. So I could just fill it off my water tank and not worry. I'm not going to run it more than five, six times anyway, right? So it's a big deal. But if you are boondocking, no, if you want to use the dishwasher, you're going to be hauling some water. You're going to need a lot of water with you. So that's the one thing to be aware of. Uh, if you're on city water, you're at an RV park or a state park or something like that, and you've got you know, water hooked up to your rig, it's not an issue. You just, you know, you fill the pitcher that it comes with and pour it in there. You know, no big deal. Anyway, so love that thing to death. They did send me a link to like save you some money on one. I think they're like less than 300 bucks now if you use this link. So I'm going to put it in the description. So use that if you want. If you're a camper, if you're an RVer, if you just have an apartment, and don't have a dishwasher, you know, there you go. So really, really cool. Works really well. Thanks a bunch. It was fun. So love you all to death. Take care of each other. We'll talk real soon. Bye.